Everybody's favorite woke Hollywood brat is now causing a new controversy. Many of you remember when the world was thrust, when Rachel Zegler, uh, whose eyes appears to be running away from each other, I think that's the new look in Hollywood, uh, was thrust upon us as the, the new Snow White with her skin as white as snow. Of course, Rachel Zegler is not white, but that doesn't matter anymore because as long as you're not white, that's a good thing. By the way, have you left a like on this video yet? Certainly hope that you have. If you haven't, I hope you do now. Well, there's a new rumor that not only has her screen time been cut in Snow White, but there is a brewing civil war between her and her co-star, as Rachel Zegler has been spending a lot of time on the hashtag free Palestine hashtag, and you might, you might be interested to know that Gal Gadot, uh, her co-star in the movie, served in the IDF, I think. Um, and she's on the other side. This is what happens when you populate your entire company with activist weirdos. Now, of course, Gal is from Israel, so at least you could understand her position. Rachel Zegler is not from Palestine. Now, first among the screen time, Rachel Zegler's screen time from Snow White cut drastically. Insider leaks suggest... Rachel Zegler, well-known Disney upcoming live-action adaptations of a classic animated movie like Snow White and Shazam 2 used to represent the ongoing success of the studios. The highly anticipated remake of Snow White in which Zegler is participating has attracted considerable attention. According to some entertainment industry folks like WDW Pro and the Diz Insider, it seems that Disney's trying to deal with Zegler's controversial comments by adding a new storyline Featuring a younger Snow White. We talked about this already, this part. That way they can reduce Rachel Zegler's screen time. As a result of Zegler's controversial comments and how people reacted to them, it looks like Disney might be changing her role in the movie. This just goes to show how things in the film industry can change and how much an audience matters. It's interesting to see how Disney is always trying new things and updating classic stories for the modern viewers. Rachel Zegler is caught up, of course, in drama due to rumors that Disney is cutting her screen time in the Snow White movie. Josiah Rises released a YouTube video discussing all the chaos surrounding Zegler and suggesting that Disney is trying to avoid any backlash from her negative comments about the original story. Well, I'm not sure about that. I think that Disney, you know, adding a childhood um, arc to it is probably more about making her character more likable. Uh, I don't think... Rachel Zegler is a very likable character, and I will say, and I will admit, I think that um, the Hunger Games movie did okay. I think I was pretty sure it was going to flop, and I think that it did okay. Um, so, you know, I, I would say that, you know, ba you know, ballad anyway, ballad of songbirds and snakes. It total gross worldwide. 336 million against something like an 80 or 90 million dollar budget they probably broke even or made a little bit of money so there there's that nobody's talking about that movie anymore and everybody's moved on of course but an interesting new angle as rachel zegler and gal gadot are on a collision course now this is what happens when you know all your actors are involved politically and they have to uh share their politics constantly with everybody because they want to be known as anything but just actors. Actor Rachel Zegler has called for a ceasefire in Gaza, and people are worried that it could make for an awkward Snow White press tour. The live-action remake of the 1937 animated movie, which is set to be released by Disney in 2025, stars Zegler as the character and the Israeli actor Gal Gadot as the evil queen, which is always hilarious to me because... You know, Gal Gadot is objectively better looking than Snow White. So it kind of makes the whole idea that she's jealous of Snow White for her looks also crazy. Are they trying to tell me that Rachel Zegler is more attractive than Gal Gadot? Like, that's insanity. Anyway, there are no str uh, strangers who are sharing their opinions online and their social media posts have shown that they have very different thoughts on the ongoing conflict. Newsweek contacted Disney and representatives for Zegler and Gadot for comment by email on Monday. Godot has been support, uh, vocal in her support for Israel after everything that happened there. Um, 
you know, I don't want to go down that whole road. I'm from Wisconsin in America. I don't know or have any connections with either one of these nations. I don't want to pretend like I do for internet likes and retweets. I don't care about what's going on between those two countries. I know that may offend you, but it's just the truth. I care about 100,000 Americans dying every year to opioid overdoses. I care about, you know, my idiot president starting another war. I care about my idiot president starting a war with a state, you know, not protecting our own borders. I care about that. I care about my idiot president protecting borders in Israel and Ukraine, but not in his own country. Okay, this is what I care about. You can call me selfish, but I think if you really look deep down and you're from, you know, let's say you're from Israel or you're from Palestine, you know, you're worried about your own backyard just like I am. And I think most people would probably appreciate that because I don't want us meddling in yours either. Anyway, in response, we all know what's been going on there. I don't need to rehash that part. Now, the Wonder Woman actor has become a divisive figure in Hollywood in recent years because of her public support of Israel. That's divisive in Hollywood? What? Anyway, she served in the IDF as a fitness instructor. Godot has dedicated her social media accounts to supporting the people of her native country, and on October 7th, she posted on Instagram, I Sam with Israel, you should too. The world cannot sit on the fence when these horrific acts are happening. Well, look, I'm not from there. I don't, you know, I have no family there. I have no interactions there. I have no connection there. So yes, I, I'm not sitting on a fence. I'm mending my own backyard. Like that's, that's what I'm more concerned about. Of course, Godot then helped facilitate an LA screening, showing everything that happened. In contrast, Zegler shared a post on her Instagram, urging that people ask the representatives to support a ceasefire. She shared a donation link for emergency fund to give to the Terrys. Have you uh, donated today? The multi-million dollar actress asked, have you donated your money today? Have you given your money to a country where you don't live and you don't know anybody while I sit on a mountain of millions of dollars? Have you given your money today? I think it's going to be great. This isn't the first time the Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds of Six actor has made her opinion on the situation known all the way back in 2021. She posted, it will always be free Palestine, which is the opinion that um, is the most popular with uh, far leftists. Now, again, I, I wish that they would handle their own business and I don't want to be involved in it. That's just my opinion. You could say it's privilege and it might be, but I think America has enough of their own problems. Of course, now people online are pointing out that the two women's differing views can make for awkward press junket as their upcoming movie together. Snow White press tour with Gal Gadot is going to be interesting. One person wrote, how is this Snow White press tour going to go? Someone else posted alongside a gif of two men awkwardly staring at each other. A third added, oh, that Snow White movie is going to be hella awkward during the press junket. Others took the opportunity to throw their support behind Zegler while also criticizing Gadot. She truly is Snow White to Gal Gadot's evil Zionist queen. One user posted, she's been pro-Palestine for many years now. That's my Lucy Graybeard. Rachel Zegler, they could make me hate you. Wait, they could make, never make me hate you. This weird, um, you know, uh, celebrity worship continues on the left. This is the way Presser is going to be very awkward for, with genocide Barbie because she's speaking for what's right. I don't know how you can be in Hunger Games movie and be pro-Israel in this conflict, a third person commented. Yes, because Hunger Games movies are real life. So many fans bullied this poor girl for her role in Snow White when Gal Gadot was supporting the removal of Palestinians. Meanwhile, Rachel Zegler shows her support for Palestine. At least I would rather spend with, uh, spend with Rachel than being friends with a Zionist evil queen. Is that... Again, so you already have an, an insanely divisive main character, right? You have this character that nobody likes in Rachel Zegler being cast as Snow White. The people that do like Rachel Zegler are far leftists and hate Gal Gadot for being from Israel. Well, and supporting it actively, I would say. As far as I know, Gal Gadot has not... Uh, you know, uh, has not participated in any wars or, you know, taking of any lives. She's lived a pretty privileged life, mostly here in America. 
So I'm not sure. I don't know. I actually think she might live in Israel, to be honest with you. She's getting rich on American dollars. So I'll put that. There's a lot of support for Zegler online. Different ex-users think she's being hypocritical considering that she's starring in Snow White alongside Gal Gadot in the first place. Some even think that her post is a little too late. This is, this is what's so great. It's, it, the whole thing is falling apart now because of this. It's insane. It's so awkward to me that she apparently supports Palestine for a while now, but she's acting alongside a known Zionist actress, one person said. You're literally sharing a movie with Gal Gadot, another person wrote alongside a slew of crying, crying emojis. None of this would happen if these people just keep their mouth shut. I mean, I'm not saying they can't talk. I'm just saying none of this would be happening if they had just kept their mouth shut. No, none of these like people would be you know, outraged online, talking negatively about your movies, anything like that. Because they wouldn't know where you stand politically. And they wouldn't have to have an opinion on it. But you have to. I mean, a third ad. I love how she waited until the press for Hunger Games ended. And all her deals were finalized. And guaranteed to sign the, and guaranteed to sign the ceasefire letter. It's not like she willingly worked with a, and befriended Gal Gadot or anything. These people just don't like Jews. A lot of these people who are commenting. They just sound racist. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying there aren't reasons to dislike what the Israeli government does or whatever. But these people that are commenting online um, seem very angry. They seem very, very angry. And, you know, I'm no historian, but I could tell you this much. I'm pretty sure Gal Gadot didn't do anything. But that's what's great. Rachel Zegler panders to the woke left and they don't care because now she's made a movie with Gal Gadot who's supposedly jealous of her looks, and they're mad at her anyway. There's just no winning. I just, I just love this. I, I, it's it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fun. You know, Snow White, I'll say Snow White press tour going to be lit. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty interesting. I wonder if she'll block me for that. I suspect. Let me know what you think in the comments.